Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can analyze and visualize Likert scale items like this way using SPSS and uh, Microsoft Excel or Microsoft Office Excel. So to, to start with, we need to have our questionnaire on the SPSS. Uh, software so let's go to it and to get the first analysis of the frequencies and percentages like the table we need just to go to analyze and then we go to tables and then custom tables after that I need just to move the variables in question to the uh, these, these rows and if I want to do distributional analysis, I can move others to colors to go to rows. And since this uh, data it has mixed selection, I need to change these categories. Uh, so sort by measurement. So I need to make them nominal from here. So I should just more make all of these uh, categories or rather variables as nominal variables so that they can be analyzed using this method because Likert scale depends on the way you want to analyze it so it can be ordinal nominal or even continuous scale once the levels of measurements are defined the next step is to change some options from here so let's go to the category position and choose uh, row labels in columns so we want to have the labels uh, in row so to speak and in columns rather and so let's check this again you can see the display how it will look like so these are the uh, measurement let's say uh, from strongly agree or strongly disagree to strongly agree so to speak this is forced four point like with scale so these are the uh, the two ends of the spectrum then we need to go to the summary statistics so as to add the percentages in addition to the frequencies to do this we just go to summary statistics and for the count we can change it into frequencies and let's look for the percentage and move it here and let's just clean it a little bit by removing the residuals so to speak apply to selection and close and here we go so the next step is to click ok and get the output like this so this is the output i can just copy so let's paste it here the next step is to get the this chart like this the stacked bar chart to do this we need to go back to spss go to this icon just click once go to custom tables and instead of the frequencies and the percentages i should just keep the frequencies alone without the percentages beside them to do this we go back to the summary statistics we remove the percentages back to their position apply to selection close so the selection is the one that is selected here and then let's click hide to remove these labels here so let's click hide and they are removed as you can see and then click ok so once once we have the data we can create a graph stacked bar chart from uh, excel or even from spaces to do it on excel we need to open excel and copy and paste this table into excel and then paste the data here and let's just select the data or the frequencies and we go to insert and we go to recommended charts as you can see so recommended charts and i choose stacked bar chart click ok and here it is need to edit it a little bit let's remove the title let's go to uh, add chart elements and i can add data labels in the center as you can see or whatever you want so inside out let's keep them in the center and here we go so i just can copy this 
chart or stacked bar chart and paste it here so let's make sure that it's formatted in the same way so it needs to be edited a little bit again let's just search it insert recommended bar charts and let's choose this one to be consistent mode so you have different options you choose the one that you think suits you the best uh, we add data labels center and then copy these chart to the uh, document that we have here for the sake of consistency as you can see so once you do this here you go you just can start your frequency and percentage analysis till you make it the way you like uh, if you want to uh, do the graph from spaces you can again just double click this uh, table you go to pivot and click transpose rows and columns once you click there again you need to click here and create graph let's take bar graph once we create it again we need to make it stacked bar uh, graph as far as the style is concerned so i double click it once i double click it again i need to again double click it so we can have this window and we go to variables and we go to uh, so this is like different styles here and you, you can see stuck stacked bar chart so let's click stuck and click apply and close so here you we go to add the different elements we can just go to elements and show data labels from here and then click close it can show them it cannot show them so we have different options or i can just add it manually like this till i finish or keep it without adding anything so these are like different options i have at hand so once i finish the formatting i just can copy and paste this new chart into the word document box so i can just copy and paste it here but it's preferable to use the graphs of or the charts of the excel file because they are more editable than the spaces one this is just an image you cannot edit it whereas this one it can be uh, edited as long as you still have the source file from here so don't lose track of this source file because you may need it in case there are mistakes in grammar or punctuation or spelling of the different items so you can go back to it and edit it because once it it is moved to the microsoft office word you cannot change anything so this requires that we change the source file if we want to ever make any change in it like we can just click here okay and let's go back to it and you notice that it has changed as you can notice which let's just undo this operation double check and you see here so this is in brief how you can analyze and visualize Likert scale items using spaces and excel and how you can actually interpret the results based on the frequencies these are just straightforward if you have questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media platforms. Till then, see you in another tutorial. Bye for now.